I'm next to the tomb of Saint Mary. And before you're gonna shout at me, my dear Catholic, yes, I know that there is a tradition until uh, from the 19th century that the tomb of Mary, or at least the house of Mary, is an Ephesus, Turkey. Well, it might be true, but until the 19th century, everyone, including the Catholic, believed that it was here. That in that matter, um, let's start to talk about the structure that you see here. We're talking about Crusader Church. Then if I'm talking about the Crusader Church, the mark, the tomb of Mary, it means that the, at, least at, well, at, at least at the 12th century, Crusaders believe, the Catholic believes that it was there as well. Today, their church belongs to the Greek Orthodox and to the uh, Armenian. You can see here a beautiful memorial site, Hachkar. Um, but let's enter the church. I, I really love that place. First of all, it's a beautiful Crusader pa uh, uh, place. Secondly, it's dark and mystic. Thirdly, there's a little, oh, sorry, almost fell, that shows you that Jesus can fall at the Via Dolorosa as well. I'm falling like almost every, every day, uh, without any reason. Uh, Jesus had so many reasons to fall that today when we're gonna follow the Via Dolorosa, you can understand it now. Now let's go in. Above the church, you could find in the 12th century, a beautiful monastery built by the Crusaders, but the Muslims uh, destroyed it. They kept that place because they believe in Mary. I must tell you that Mary is very famous in the Quran. There are two chapters that are dedicated to Mary there. We don't know what's happened to Mary after the Pentecost. You're right. I mean, the Bible didn't mention what's happened to Mary after the Pentecost, but I can tell you that um, at the Pro Evangelium of James, we know exactly what's happened to her. This is the slabs of Mount of Olives. Mount of Olives is, is right there. I mean, we are at the bottom of it. And um, and we know that Mary, according to that Proto-Evangelion, uh, is uh, actually walked at Mount of Olives when an angel came and told her, uh, Mary, um, this is the end. Um, in about three days, Jesus will take your soul and take your body. She went back to her house at Mount Zion, which is still a Catholic place then. It's ours, it was there, the Dormition, uh, Dormitio, and, um, and all the disciples that were in the city came to visit her. And then she fell asleep. Jesus took immediately her soul. They bury her here at the Kidron Valley, the slopes of uh, Mount of Olives. And Jesus took her body as well. Then he's not, he, she's not there as, at all. And let's go in. And on the way, you will see, I think, something like 29 stairs. But we have to get used to the darkness. I think in here there are Armenian prayers. Sounds like Greek Orthodox. The smell is amazing. It was built by Melisanda, the queen of the Crusaders at the 5th century. And it, uh, but now we know that uh, we believe, I mean, the Christian believes that this is the tomb of uh, Joachim and Hannah, the father and mother of Mary. And you can see Mary with her parents. This is the tomb of Joachim. And the tomb of Anna.
The reason I entered to that church today is mainly because I want to bless E.J. Cross and and um, um, Betty Cross on top of the tomb of Saint Joseph. I know that it is a surprise for you because you didn't ask me to do that, but um, I added it to it because I know how important is St. Joseph to you and to so many. The Pope declared of this year as the year of St. Joseph, and the father is amazing. I mean the father, Joseph, who took care of a child. doesn't matter if he was the father or not. But... Um, Jesus studied a lot from him, and uh, um, Mary was protected by him. And this is the empty tomb of Mary. You can see her hair. She fell asleep. And you can see that Jesus is holding a sword. And this is the assumption of her at August 15.
If you liked this video, please subscribe my channel. If you want a, a cross for yourself <coughs> that I will bless in the city, just write me and I will send the link for that. Or go into the inscription of that video. Look for the link of buy me a coffee and you will get all the information there. See you. Bye bye.